Hey guys, really quick before the vlog starts, I wanted to thank Harry's for sponsoring this video and also let you know about their special offers that they have coming up this holiday season. If you don't know what Harry's is, Harry's is a razor company started by two guys who were just dedicated to making a great quality shave at an affordable price. I personally love Harry's because not only are they affordable, they also have great quality razors. They are really cool products and um, they also have a lot of different options that you can add on to the products itself. Now this holiday season, Harry is offering a limited edition shaving set, which includes this really cool midnight blue chrome handle. I'm loving this thing right now. And they also include three of Harry's five blade replacements. It also comes with this nice foaming gel that is really soft on the face and smells really good. And um, all of that comes inside of a nice, beautiful gift box that's ready to go. And all of that is, uh, is only $30. Now you can find all of that on harrys.com and they also offer handle sets that start at just $10 if you just wanna give Harry's a try. So free shipping ends on December 9th. So if you wanna go ahead to harrys.com right now, you can go ahead and get that limited edition set with free shipping. And also if you use the coupon code Davidson's at checkout, you can get $5 off your purchase. So go to harrys.com, check out the limited edition set and uh, get $5 off with the use of the code Davidson's at checkout. Y'all be safe now, all right? Thank you. We're going, we're going to the same beach though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. Thanks for taking it. Okay. It's fine, okay. We finally made it to the beach in St. Lucia. What's up, y'all? And uh, it was crazy trying to get here. Oh my gosh, it was like, it was worse. <laughs> um, but we got here, yeah, and yeah. we just decided to, to come to the beach yeah. and figure out what was here, and uh, maybe we'll have something to do out here, but we're just gonna chill for now. It's so weird, um, it, it was, sorry, I didn't mean to come. Go ahead. Down. When we first got here, it just started like pouring down raining, and now it's like kind of. Yeah. It looks like so. it moves back there, the rain. Oh, yeah, yeah, so. Anyway, this is our view, guys. Isn't that beautiful? The beach of St. Lucia.
It's cheap. I want that. Uh -huh. Oh, it's cold. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What does he have here? He has coconut, coconut? rum in it, but fresh coconut, coconut rum, oh. fresh fruit. I want a piece of it. <laughs> Thank you. Got some coconut. It's a little acid, that one. It's not as sweet. How much for the coconut? We're from five dollar. For the a little uh, bit. Don't make me drunk. Can Let I put some? Can that. I put some fruit inside? Let me see. What? Can I put some fruit? Some is that fruit? vodka or is that huh? rum? What is that? That's rum. What kind of rum is that? <laughs> Local rum. Local. St. Lucia rum, madam. That's a good. Like a light, not a high That's a good stuff, though. <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> I don't know. Six for two. Yeah, man. Nice. I'm good. You Thank good? You. Well, all right then. Just trying to make a little something That's to coconut. help help my daughter, you know. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, I don't wow. really wear That's any jewelry. Like oh, okay. no problem. Thank you, though. Yeah. It's all right, then. Yeah. Okay, but if you want, I can make a good deal if you give me at least two dollars for one. Okay. okay, because I just need to make a little money. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's not like the um, the regular RC. You gave me the Wi Fi, right? Yes, okay, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Right. So, still working? What it does? Mm -hmm. Still working? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Set up. Get on. Okay, so the most common question we've been getting today, well, pretty much this whole trip, is how we feel about Trump. <laughs> Everybody from different countries, I guess they know about what was going on. Guy yeah, just asked know. me from the UK. Um, some people here, uh, the locals here, were asking us about it. Yesterday, people were asking about it. It's crazy. It's crazy. They're like, "How do you feel? Are you going back? <laughs> Are you going back?" Like <laughs> this question is like that. But I just met a nice guy from the UK. He was uh, really nice. He asked about the drone. Um, and apparently, UK is really strict on the drones right now. So. Um, yeah, he asked me about it, and um, hopefully he gets one himself, but... <sighs> huh? Is that, what, is that what you do all day? You can sit out here looking at girls? <laughs> looking at girls? <laughs> <laughs> I said I was with you. <laughs> Alright, Tiff and I are on our way to... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the sofa... Ski thing? Ski? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was a sofa. Sofa? Yeah, I thought it was like a couch. Yeah? I don't know what it's called. Yeah, we'll figure it out. You guys know what it's called. Yeah. I just put the life jackets on the kayak for me. Yeah, but that's nice over there. I can tell him to give you a little... Yeah, you want it fast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can he fall out in the water? Don't need to wait for him. No, I just stand, just stand. Just... <laughs> <laughs> so you next, right? You next on the Mabel. We're gonna pull you next. Hold on. These handles. <laughs> Come on, love. You're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna have a jelly sandwich. No. Uh, this is what we were talking about, y'all. This thing right here. You see this? That's a, that's the boat. It's gonna take us out into the water. No, but there's a little, another little ratchet one. Trying to get us to do the TJ joint, <laughs> yeah. The boat and this thing were like this close together. <laughs> like, ah, that's not how it's supposed to work. No, we want that. It's supposed to be far away from the boat. We want this one. Yeah. Oh. 
Somebody look like he's ready. All right. Here we go. Flipped off. I hope we do. You hope we do. <laughs> yeah. Flip us. Flip us. Flip us, flip us, flip us. I don't us. know if this is good. What you mean? Like, what, am, am I holding right? Yeah, that's all what we got to hold on for? to, y'all. That's all we got to hold on to. No, what are these? Do I hold these? Do you, I'm scared. If you want to. Oh, woo. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no. This was your idea. Oh, no. This was your idea. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This was your idea. <laughs> That was the funnest thing I've done in a long time. <laughs> that was good. That was fun. Thanks, man. That, that was dope. Yeah. yeah. All, right, cool. <laughs> All right, I'm out here in the water. Ooh, it's like this. Ooh. I just. Ooh. It's like this steep drop off out here. Is that drop off, Steve? It's a drop. It's steep. <laughs> Um, Jarvis and Brittany went on the tour, and uh, where'd you go? Um, you know what? I don't even know what the place is called. But <laughs> when we get back on the ship, I can pull it out and let you guys know. But we got these uh, handcrafted uh, wood uh, objects. They're pretty cool. Of uh, them? Yeah. They hand make them. The guy signed a little sheet to authenticate them. Oh yeah. It was nice. Well, it's nice out here. It's just that the everybody's out here trying to sell us stuff. Even in the water, even, even in the water, water. <laughs> even in the water, trying to sell us stuff. It's like, let me live, <laughs> let me live. Every couple of minutes, somebody coming around trying to sell you something else, uh, or the same thing that they somebody else has asked you. Uh, but it's all good though. It's nice. Everybody's out here, kind of relaxed and chilling, doing the water sports. Look at it. Coming out here. Stereotype. <laughs> 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 He's speaking to 
view. Okay, so just after that, I, I got in a little altercation with somebody. Just um, after what? Did you, did you tell them? Well, we're back in the room now, but just after me and Jarvis, we're in the water. Um, yeah, we got in a little altercation at the at the beach. Basically, some guy. Well, the whole day there were people coming around asking us for stuff, and some guy was asking Tiffany if she wanted something. Me and Jarvis were coming out of the water, and we walked up, and the guy approached me. And he was like, he, he was like, hey, what's up, man? And I was like, I was like, yeah, you know, we, we really don't want anything, so, um, but thanks or whatever. And he was like, he said, oh no, you know, f that, you know, I'm not trying to sell nothing, you know, I'm just trying to welcome you to the island. I was like, okay, well, you know, thank you um, for welcoming me to the island, mm -hmm. but you know, we really don't want any of the, of the stuff that you have. And um, <clears throat> he was like, he said, oh no, no, I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm not trying to sell anything. Um, but he was uh, he was just trying to sell something to Tiffany, mm -hmm. and then um, I talked to him for a little bit and was like, yeah, thanks or whatever. And then he started to walk away, and Tiffany was like, well, how much is it? Because she wanted to go ahead and just give him like, so like bad. a couple dollars for mm -hmm. like what he has. So but what I was thinking, I was thinking that he was just gonna give it to me and then leave. But but so. And I was thinking the same thing. So he gives, he goes and pulls stuff out of the bag. Tiffany gives him two dollars for. He told him it, it, she. He told her it was two dollars. He pulls it out the bag and he starts. Um, he starts cutting it open and stuff. Here's the thing. It, it was aloe vera. It was aloe vera. That's it was two dollars. Yeah, it's a little, little plant or whatever. And I was like, you know, okay, I'll take because my face is burnt. My nose is like mm -hmm. burning. It's like burning because the sun is like beaming on. I was like, whatever. I feel bad. I'll just take it <laughs> and it'll help my nose. So, and I was just, I yeah. just wanted him to give it to me. Open it, it, open the aloe vera, give it to me, and leave. But no, he was trying to open it, and then he was trying to put it on me. I was like, no, 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 I got it. I want to put it on my face. So this, and he's just like, no, 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 no. You know, I take care of you, even though you only give me, you know, two dollars, whatever, for it. So I, still, I don't, I don't hear, I don't hear none of this. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the water. I'm looking at you know, like the boats or whatever and stuff like that. Um, and I'm thinking he just going, he's just like opening it and he's showing her how, you know, to open it and like, you know, yeah, you just like, you know, rubbing it right there. But then a guy walks up and he was like, yo, why are he touching all on your lady? And I'm he like, didn't say that. he was like, she said no. No, that's what he said. He, he was said like, well, yo, why, oh. why are you touching all, all up on that lady? And then so I turned around. And he was rubbing it into her arm. I didn't and know. And I was like trying to push him. I was like, no, no, I. I got didn't it. know that Tiffany had. Um, I didn't know that that, that was going that, on. I didn't know. I didn't know that was happening. So I turned around and then, and he stands up. He's like, no, no, it's good. And, you know, I was like, I was like, no. I was like, what? I was like, what did she ask you? And and I was like, you know, is. I asked Tiffany what she said, and she was like, I just wanted him to open the thing up. I was like, so she told you. You know, blah blah blah. So we got into it, and um, basically, um, it could have escalated like really yeah. quick. Cause Even the, the other man that had said that he was like, you he was know, like, they, yo, they said no, leave him alone. Like, yeah, he it was, was a local yeah, too. yeah. He was like, yeah, like you could listen hear, he's like, listen to his language. He's he telling said no. you, no. And I was getting frustrated because, because the dude was trying to make it seem like I did something. So I'm like, yo, I, 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 he was trying to make it seem like I was making him feel like less of a person, but I didn't, I didn't do anything to make him feel like that. I just told him we didn't want anything that he had. And then after all that, he was like, okay, just give me two dollars and I leave. I'm like, what? I already gave you money. Like we, are, we already gave you. He was like, you. no, you didn't. I said, yes, I did. And then he checked his pocket and he so, had to put the money in his pocket. I'm like, like, stupid. if you can avoid situations like that, try to avoid them. Um, I basically just tried to defuse the situation, and um, I didn't want to get like aggressive with the guy because I don't know him. Yeah. And also, Tiffany told me afterwards he had a knife in his hand. Yeah, because he was cutting open the alley. I didn't realize that, but I just told him like, "Yo, look, just take what you, take take your stuff, and like you can leave or whatever." Like, we about to leave. And um, and we I was like, "We about to get our stuff and go." You know, like you just go ahead, walk, walk. But so. ever since we got here, like his, we just have felt like like overwhelmed and like harassed and stuff because like literally as soon as we got off the boat um 
everybody was like swarming up. Hey, come, come, come over here, come over here. Like we have tours, come over here. And like we would be talking to one person and then another person would be like, no, come here, I'll give it to you for cheaper. And we're just like, yeah. oh my goodness, we don't even know what we want to do. But <laughs> I mean, in, in St. Lucia's defense, like every every island that we've been to it's to been visit like has been like that. Like every island we go to, like of course, everybody trying to, you know, it's, it's a little hustle or whatever. Mm -hmm. So like we understand that, but some some like this one was a little bit like it's a little bit Way too much. Like it was like over. over overdone. Like we as soon as we got here, there's a lot of people, and then when we got to the beach, they told us that there would be stuff there that wasn't there. Uh -huh. Like we would have free Wi-Fi. Like, yeah, you'll have free Wi-Fi, free chairs. We get there, they're like twenty five dollars oh. for the chairs. <laughs> we're, we're like. like well, we twenty five dollars to sit in the chair. Well, then we're not gonna sit in the chair. We'll sit in, right here in the we'll sand. We'll sit in the sand, and then they like, oh, Wi Fi, oh, you know, you two, three dollars, yeah. two, three dollars, and for I'll that. give you the password. Like, and it was just they like, told us this the Wi Fi not, was free. So, I just, you know, and then so so we were laying down in the sand, and then every like two minutes there was somebody new, a local just trying asking to get us for to buy something, stuff. like they had like the. Plantains. And we we bought some stuff like we bought planting we chips we bought we bought, we bought the aloe vera oh. we uh, what else we Brittany and Jarvis got some drinks we went on the the boat ride, the boat ride yeah. so we did things it's just like it was it was like you know it was like overwhelming yeah I don't know if like if like once we stuff. bought something from one person like all the rest of the people were like oh, okay no maybe because they, they were doing that before yeah, the, yeah true you're right so I don't know I just I just wanted to let you guys know. Like just in case you go to an island like this or any other island, sometimes that happens. Like you know, yeah. you get people who to try to they try to hustle you, they try to give you stuff. It won't take no for an answer. Things. So just be careful um, in case you get like in case it like escalates to like what happened like what happened today. today. Um, so. But besides yeah. all that, we have fun. We had fun. Though. It was fun. The I told I told Tiffany on the on the way back. Fun. Like, oh yeah, also somebody stole my shoes. Yeah, he had a bunch of shoes. Um, so, I, got, I don't know if it was when I was in the water or what, somebody, like, swiped my shoes, so, I don't know, just, just be careful, you know, and watch your stuff, and, you know, don't get into altercations, don't get into altercations, be safe out there, people, if you're gonna go travel, okay, yeah. we're gonna go get some meat, I think your arm's hurting, yeah, it is, yeah. Okay. <laughs> looking 
it's your mom's butt. Okay, all right, no. He said face, he, she's, he, he said face, he said face as well. All right, Patricia? I'm gonna say face. Face is a match, ding, 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 kiss, kiss, kiss. Come on, this is easy, this is so easy. Now we get to our next question, and this one is worth 10 points, ladies. We wanna know, if your husbands could change two things about you, is this right? Two things about you, ladies. <laughs> what would he make bigger? And what would he make smaller? <laughs> that's, what, that's what Milan said for this one. So, all right, we'll, we'll start off with you, Mary. What, what would he make bigger? Bigger butt. That's a five points. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, there you go. Better enjoy that. Um, and what would he make smaller? <laughs> My teeth. Your teeth. <laughs> no, it's you oh, oh, oh. Well, he said I'm just dead. your ginormous head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you a match. I'm going to give him a match. Yeah, I think that was, yeah, all right. Teeth, forehead, the whole thing's a bitch. And big head. Okay. Right. <laughs> Patricia. What would he make it bigger? <laughs> bigger boobs. That is a five point match. And what would he make smaller? Your boobs. Ah! Yes, 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 yes. So I get any turn. <laughs> Kim. What would Lewis make bigger? Your bigger butt. And what would he make smaller? Probably my attitude. Oh, that is the same. That is the same. That is the same. That is the same. He said bigger butt and smaller mouth. So um, that's 10 points. They're all tied. They're all tied. Kiss, 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 kiss. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. One person did it. Thank you for making the effort. All right. Well, that is round number one, just as quick like that. But what we got to do right now is we got to turn it around a little bit. So we need all the gentlemen. Please stand up. You're going to be following Natasha off. You can take your drink with you, Charlie. Why not? Uh, follow, follow Natasha where you're going to be able to actually also enjoy some exotic male dancing. So give it up for the guys. Come on, let's hear it for the guys. Come on. Yeah. All right. Now, while the guys are getting back there, I just want to show you what's at stake. And, and it, we're, t we're tied up going in round two. And what we're going to be doing for the couple that uh, has won, has the most points, we have his and hers. This is his his and hers watch sets that are going to be uh, yours for the keeping, okay? And these are normally, what are they, normally $65 tomorrow. You can pick up yours for $19.95. All right. Okay, here we go with round number two. Ladies, we want to know, what is your husband's most embarrassing habit? What is the thing that you just are so embarrassed when he does it? Either in front of you or in front of other people, it doesn't matter. Kim, what would that be? When he eats. When he eats? Well, what, what does he do when he eats? That's like, this, so this is like every day, three times a day, he's driving you nuts. <laughs> so you hear him coming, you no, know, no breathe. He doesn't breathe, he just doesn't eat. Sorry. Does he make a lot of noise? Yes. Yeah, all right. Noisy eater. Open his mouth. Is that nom, 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 nom? <laughs> I've, I've heard him. I've gone through that. I've heard him actually eating. Um, Mary. His long ass stories. <laughs> oh. I think we got one right at the start of the show. Yeah, I was 15. I called her out. I was to go off. Yeah, I want to go off. And that's what happened. <laughs> Damn, Dave. That was the short version, too. Um, Patricia. He's too, too sarcastic. Oh, I'm very sarcastic. You know, get along together. Okay, all right. Here we go with uh, question number two. Ladies, we want to know what part of your husband's body could go by the nickname Tiny? Don't do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Don't listen to him. Do it. Say it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Mask it. That's all right. Come on. Oh, that. She's thinking about it. 
So here's how you do that. First of all, I need to know, have you or your husband now or ever had a nickname for his manhood? Okay, so this is a yes or no question. Now, if it's a yes or no and you match up, you get five points. But you can earn an additional five points if the answer is yes and you match up what the name, what the nickname is, all right? Patricia, yes or no? No! no. <laughs> I felt Charlie probably would. All right, Mary? No. No! Kim, no! Nobody's got a nickname. Wow. Okay, here we go with our next question. We want to know, what is, if you could pick a famous male, a famous man to hang out with, it could be a sports figure, it could be a movie star, it could be a singer, it doesn't matter. If you could pick a famous man to hang out with, who would it be? Movie star, actor, sports figure, doesn't matter. Who would that be? Wayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> Mr. Sexiest Man Alive. Did you see that? He got that uh, People Magazine. Here. Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. Bring a sexy pack. John Bon Jovi. <laughs> John Bon Jovi. All right. And here we go with the final question. This one is worth 25 points. And it's a classical game show question. We want to know, ladies, where is the most unique or unusual place that you and your husband have made whoopee? <laughs> Wow. Okay. Kim? Yes, yeah, still thinking. Mary, you ready? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mary. We'll roll that. Backstage of the theater at school. Backstage of oh. the theater at the school. What school was it? It was our high school. Your high school. <laughs> What, what, was this a reunion, or was this? That was you there. That was there. That was so. That was that was that. The, you want to go out? Is that, is, that, is, that, is that the end of that conversation? A <laughs> little bit after that. Okay. But, wow. Did you guys know that? No. <laughs> Patricia. I guess the car. The car. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 Uh, daytime or nighttime? Where Where was this car? Park. Park on the road. Park in the park somewhere you don't care. Okay. So in the back seat of a car. Did you say daytime or nighttime? Nighttime. Kim. That's not really unique. Just the steps at home. Steps, what, what's, what's, in, inside, outside? Inside. Inside. 
going up the stairs. Uh, we've got a two level thing going on. Couldn't make it all the way. Right, right now. Right. Get the elevator. We need to hurry up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give them all a nice round of applause. Let's hear it for them. We're going to bring the guys back into the room, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, find out how well the guys can answer up these questions. It is so close with the scoring. Uh, don't forget to, that tomorrow we have the wildest game ever. It's a game called The Quest. That is tomorrow night in Studio B. But give a nice round of applause. Let's hear it for the gentlemen. Come on, guys. Welcome back. We asked the wives a series of questions, now it's your turn to answer up to find out how well you guys know each other again. Now, I do want to mention though, the point values have gone up. The first four questions were 10 points, and there's bonus question worth 25 points. Here comes question number one. Gentlemen, we asked the ladies, what is your most embarrassing habit? What is the thing that you do that truly embarrasses her? And everybody, what do you, what do you that's pretty embarrassing. What's going on there? <laughs> Let that be for a few minutes here in front of people. Liz. Um, the way I dress when we go out. The way you dress when you go out. <laughs> wow, you got it on all fronts, don't you? So it's the way you dress when you go out to dinner, and then it's the way you eat. Okay, all right. It's the way you eat. <laughs> did, did you know that? Drive your nuts, did you know? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Hold on. Um, I would have to say it would have something to do with interactions with people in public. Interactions with people in public. Go on. Keep, <laughs> keep, going. keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Tell us about Tell it. Some more. Keep going. Tell us more. More. More specific. Well, I'm always messing with people randomly. I don't know. Hey, what is it? What? Well, Tell us a story. Tell us story. a story. Oh. Tell us a story. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, we don't want to ask him. We don't want to <laughs> See, you tell, your stories are forever, man. They're forever. They go for a long time and, and boring. And really boring. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. All right. All right. Well, this is the first one they haven't matched up. Charlie, you have a chance to take the lead right now. What is the thing that you do that uh, is uh, the most embarrassing thing, according to Patricia? Yeah, so funny, I don't know. Narrow it down. Uh, I don't know. What I, what I do in public is act, act goofy or something. <laughs> well, no, okay. All right, well, we're still even, I guess. You're sarcastic. You're, you're a little sarcastic. A little too sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> to work for the city, what can I say? Okay. All right, here we go with the next question. We want to know, gentlemen, what part of your body, according to the wives, what part of your body can go by the nickname Tiny? You see me something, right? Well, I guess I'll just get it over with, Milan. I don't even know. <laughs> hmm. My legs? Tiny legs? No, he, she said, today your hair. Oh. You got tiny hair. Well, actually, she said he got tiny hair, and she agreed. So, there it is. Patricia. Oh, I asked you already. I guess I need to ask Charlie. Charlie. Uh, she's always got chicken legs. Chicken legs. No, she got, you say you got a tiny butt. You said you have no butt. You got no butt. Let's <laughs> chance to take the lead here right now. What? What is it? Well, I can tell everybody what it ain't. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I say it's, it's my backside. Your backside? That's a match. Take it, you kiss, kiss. You finally got a match point there in the lead. Yay. All right. Here we go with our next question. Now, gentlemen, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Are you going to get this one right? Really? Oh, yeah. sure. All right. Yeah, I did. All right. So this is a question. It's a two-part question worth 10 points. We want to know, have you or your wife now or ever had a nickname for your manhood? 
<laughs> you or your wife, now or ever, had a nickname for your manhood. Now this is the first part. If you answer, if you match, you get five points. If you say yes, you have a chance to get five points by telling us the name. Charlie, yes or no, have you now or ever had a nickname for your manhood? No. No, that is a match. Ding, ding, ding. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Thanks, John Oblast. Come on. Do it. Blum? No. No, is it a match? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Lewis? Uh, no. No. None of them. Have you? No. Really? Oh, I'm surprised. Okay, all right. I know I would ask you anyway. All right, here we go with our next question. We want to know, gentlemen, if your wife could pick a famous man to hang out with, who would it be? Now, this could be a singer, an actor, a movie star, sports figure, it doesn't matter. Lewis. I want to say The Rock. The Rock is the best. Ding, ding, ding. Who's the other one? Who's the other one, huh? Who's the other one, Lewis? Uh, LL Cool J. LL uh, Cool J. Ladies love Cool J. Ladies <laughs> love Cool J. Hold on. Um, between two that I can think of. Uh, Where's one? One's old, one's young. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Timberlake. <laughs> I hope he's the, uh, he's the young one, right? Because that would be weird if it was that he was the old one. Or if he's the other one, okay. Just the thing was like, the old one. Then we'd have to seek some help for him. Charlie, who did Patricia pick? Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. That's the thing. Very good. All right. Here's our final question for tonight's game show. This one is worth 25 points, gentlemen. We want to know, where is the most unique or unusual place that you and your wife have made? Everybody give me a big whoopee. Whoopee! Most unique or unusual place you and your wife have made whoopee coming down here to you, Lewis. Where would that be? Do you need more time? I do. Okay, I will give you more time. Milan? They know now, by the way. They did not know before, but now they do know. They were very, very, they were surprised, actually, that uh, that happened. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> behind the, st the stage, I've been surprised. That's a match! Thank you. 